Today on Zoom, do you like peanut butter? Do you like strawberries? Well, if you do, you're going to love strawberry surprise popsicles. My favorite pig is Spike. <laughs> He's really nice and he really likes me. Funding for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future, a corporation for public broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people, and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thanks! how you play. Here are three cards. Each of them has the name of a different animal. Okay. Here's one for you. Here's one for you. And here's one for you. Okay. Hard. Now, these three cards have the same three names as the other cards. Okay. Now, let's see. Here's one for you. Here's one for you. Thank you. Here's one for you. Okay. Now, don't tell anybody the name of the animal that's on your card. Okay? Now, you three go to that side of the rug, and you three go to that side of the rug. Okay. Over there. Over there. Now, get on your knees and put your blindfolds on. Okay. Okay. Then, on go, you guys want to make the sound of the animal that's on your card, and try to find the person that's making the same, the same sound. Okay. The first pair to find each other wins. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. On your mark. Whoa. Okay. Go! 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 Strawberries? Well, if you do, you're going to love strawberry surprise popsicles. This cafe was sent to us by Patricia D. of Delaware. Here's what you'll need to make two. Two paper cups, peanut butter, an eight-ounce container of strawberry yogurt, aluminum foil, and some popsicle sticks. Here's what you'll do. Take your cups, some peanut butter, now spread three stripes of peanut butter up the side of your cups. 
like this. You see that? Okay. Try to make it neat. Because if it's not too neat, it won't look as cool as it does when it's neat. This is what it should look like when it's all done. And just put more. Oh yeah, that's neat. I love peanut butter. Okay. Then, take your strawberry yogurt and put a spoonful of strawberry yogurt into your cup. Actually, instead, I'm going to pour it because it's much faster. Okay, almost there. look like this when you're done with the yogurt. Uh, now, take two pieces of aluminum foil and cover the cups. This is what it should look like. Take a sharp knife and poke a hole right in the middle of the aluminum foil. Too big. And if you're not allowed to use a knife, make sure you ask an adult to help you. Pop, take two popsicle sticks and stick it right into that hole. Right there. Like that. Now put it in the freezer until they're frozen. You can find the recipe for Strawberry Surprise Popsicles at the Zoom website at pbskids.org. I have some already frozen. Pull off the aluminum foil. And then you have to rip off the cup, too. And there's a seam here, so you could just rip it right off. And be careful because the peanut butter melts really, really fast. So, and there you have it. The strawberry surprise popsicle. Bon appetit. Mmm, this is really good. Mm. but I spend as much time as possible in the country at my grandma's pig farm. Hi, honey. How are you? My grandma runs the Pop Belly Pig Full Service Center. It boards about 100 pigs. My grandma is great. She runs the whole show. But I do a lot of work to help. I clean up poop. A lot of it. Round up pigs that have wandered way into the backyard. Some of the pigs are kept for breeding. Some are on vacation in the piggy camp. Some are in residence for training 
or weight reduction. Keep exercising. Come on. Pup-bellied pigs weigh around 100 pounds and can live up to 20 years old. Oh, come on, buddy. Damn, damn. My favorite pig is Spike. He's really nice and he really likes me. <laughs> I help teach them to walk on the leash and follow. Follow? We want them to have good manners. Follow, Oakley. Follow. Come on. Come on. Oakley. Oakley. <laughs> and the other pet pigs, we call them house pigs, stay in the piggy parlor. There's a litter of piglets. They're about six weeks old now. They're so cute. Come here, babies. Come on. I've been around pigs since I was a baby. I even dream about pigs. Remember when we asked you to tell us what kind of pets you have? Well, kids from every single state in the country and 12 provinces in Canada went to the Zoom website and sent in their pet data. And here's what we learned. Buzz, what pet do you think the most people have? Um, I bet a dog. Well, you're right. Dogs are the most popular. 37% of the people who took the survey had dogs. Cats came in second place with 28%. Look at this pie chart. Together, dogs and cats made up 65% of all the pets people have. So, most people have a cat or a dog. Fish came in third with 9%. There's a huge difference between the number of people who have a dog or a cat and the number of people who have a fish. The difference gets even bigger because you have to combine birds, rabbits, and hamsters to make up 10%. And it takes all the chickens, cows, horses, gerbils, guinea pigs, lizards, and turtles to add up to another 11%. The remaining 5% were made up of 23 types of pets. This includes the less popular Komodo dragons, hissing cockroaches, a luna moth, and a miniature billy goat. So, be part of our pet survey. Go to the Zoom website and tell us all about the kinds of pets you have. We'll look at your data later on Zoom to see if we can find out other interesting things about pets you have at home. Tell me, tell me what to do. You got to send us email. Email. B-O-M box 350. Can you guess the names of these songs? Arlene M. of Chicago, Illinois. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a hint of a song, and you have to guess what song it is. Okay. 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 Buddy, here's yep. a question. Sparkle, sparkle, tiny... Sparkle, sparkle, little star. Sparkle, wow, sparkle, that's little awesome. Wow, that's awesome. Oh my God. Sparkle, sparkle, tiny five-pointed figure. I don't know how I got that. It just it just sounded like sparkle, sparkle. Paddle, paddle. Oh, wow, 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 wow. So, hold on, but what does it say? Paddle, 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 the ship belonging to you. Yeah. Yeah, your boat. Wicked. Drizzle, drizzle, disappear. Oh, um, go, the, the. Rain, rain, go away. Yeah, that's a. Rain, rain, go away. Well, I was trying to say it, I'm like... Mm -hmm. And you're getting the most fast. Rain, rain, go away. Bring me 
bring my being oh, to the playing diamond. The diamond ring. Uh, my, the, 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 the I diamond know. ring. Nope. Rocking nope. The, nope. No. Nope. Nope. Oh. This is a hard one. This is the hardest um, one. Ooh. Playing diamond. <laughs> to the playing diamond. Uh, yeah. Bring so my it must be to the it must diamond. be shape. It must be something to do with baseball. Uh, he like, he just like it's in a diamond and then Take me out to the ball game. Yep. Take me out yep. to the oh, ball game. Game. Five, five, five plus five. one little quacker. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. This is, I hardly is it hard? No. Would I know it? Mm -hmm. If you think about it, yeah, you would. Five plus, plus one little quacker. Six. It, it must have that. something to do with like number. Five plus one little quacker. Little quackers might be like ducks. Yeah. Right. Six ducks. Maybe it's like crackers and they're saying it. Maybe it's a duck singing it. Six little ducks. Oh, I never heard of that song. I just guessed six ducks. Six little ducks. Oh, I never heard of that song either. Yeah, six little ducks. Yeah, that's all of them. Ah, good job. Six little ducks. 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 And of Stryker, Ohio, sent us these Fanny Dooleys. Fanny Dooley likes rabbits, but doesn't like animals. Why do you think that is? Fanny Dooley likes carrots, but doesn't like vegetables. Why do you think that is? Fanny Dooley likes letters, but doesn't like notes. Why do you think that is? Fanny Dooley is a brain teaser. Like with lots of brain teasers, there's a rule for what she likes, and what she doesn't like. Try to figure out the rule and then create your own Fanny Dooley and send them to Zoom. Here's an animation called Hmm, I wonder what else I could animate by the fourth and fifth graders at Shaftesbury Elementary School in Shaftesbury, Vermont. Yeah? You want to hear some porcupine jokes? Sure. Okay. What did the porcupine say to the cactus? I don't know. Is that you, Mom? <laughs> hey, Branson. Yeah? What's worse than pulling a shark's tooth? Don't know. Giving a porcupine a back rub. <laughs> hey, Branson. <laughs> yeah? What do you get when you cross a porcupine <laughs> and a turtle? I don't know. A slow poke. <laughs> hey Zoomers, here's a bunch of stuff that I arranged into different groups. There's this group, this group, this group, and that group. I use one rule to group all of these items. The rule I used is by color. See, in this group, everything has a little bit of yellow. In this group, everything has a little bit of green. In this group, it's orange. And this group is red. In a minute, I'm going to ask Buzz and Rachel in here, and I'm going to challenge them to see if they can figure out what group this object goes into. Hey, guys, could you come here for a sec? 
me. All right. See all these objects here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I arranged them into different groups, and I used one rule for it. Cool. Now, your challenge is only ask yes or no questions to figure out what rule I used to group these objects and what group the straw goes into. I'm thinking of colors, so does yellow have to do yellow? Yeah. Is a rule things that are the same color? Yes. Yeah. Why don't you ask some questions, folks? Okay. Because um, all these have green in them, the frog skin, mm -hmm. alligator, or This is all yellow, this is all orange, yep. it's red. So I think that the straw, because it's red, goes yeah. in the scoop. You both are completely right. Yeah. You made it seem like I was wrong because you're like, oh. Yeah. 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 So I'm trying to fool you. Keep putting the black side up on yep. the magnet. Uh, but I didn't even I see that, that didn't work. That was actually kind of a good idea. I didn't see the magnet. It didn't really work. Now, let me think of some groups. All right, so okay. well, should we turn away? Um, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, I might make it easier. So let me just look. Guys, try and guess my rule. Well, I'm pretty sure it's not by color because it's kind of mixed up. So. Yeah. Does this grouping have anything <gasps> to do with something. plastic? No. Does it have to do anything with size? Yes, it does. Did I get it? Yeah. Yeah, see, it's all small. Yeah, small. it's small. These are medium. medium. These are like big. The toothbrush is big. The toothbrush is huge. This, this is, is a big snake. snake. I tried yeah. to pull you by. Clearly. This is awesome. It's cool. Okay, now you guys guess my rule. Okay. Okay, joke. Okay. okay. Does this grouping have anything to do with rolling? Yes, you got it. <laughs> things that roll and things, <laughs> things that, that don't. Things that roll and things that don't. Yeah, I kind of got that one. I thought that was going to be kind of hard, but you uh, got it. At first it was because I didn't even yeah. know it. Because I, I didn't even, I didn't see that car at first. I mm -hmm. was over there somewhere. Then when I saw like balls and like the cars, because mm -hmm. I really looked at these wheels. Yeah. That was a good job, Eric. Thank you. Okay. Try this at home. Get a bunch of objects and group them according to one rule. Then get a bunch of friends and see if they can guess the rule that you use to group the objects. If you come up with some fun rules, send them to Zoom. Thanksgiving Day, Sean S. of Austin, Texas, volunteered at the Salvation Army to deliver hot meals to people who needed them. Sean says that through volunteering, he's learned how good it feels to give back to his community. Nice job, Sean. There are lots of things you can do to become a member of the Zoom team. Hold a bake sale to raise money for charity, collect canned goods for a food bank, or volunteer your time to clean up a park in your neighborhood. Zoom into action! Zoom into action! And join the Zoom team! Welcome, Zoomers! We thank you for joining us for today's performance entitled by Heather M. of Norrisburg, Ohio. Enjoy the show. <laughs> Excuse me. Mademoiselle, what seems to be the problem? I can't eat this soup. Ah, <sighs> uh, yeah. I will call for the head chef. <laughs> hey, Mac, come here on the devil. Yes, mademoiselle. This woman claims she cannot eat a soup dish. Sure. But, but, but. Oh, yes, I will 
call for the manager. Miss Smith, could you come here for one minute, please? Is there anything I can do to help? Yes, this woman claims she cannot eat her soup. Oh my, oh my, 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 my. So busy, so busy. Call the FBI. Terribly sorry about this, but there is nothing I can do to help this. But all I want is a... Oh, never mind that. I'll get you your salt later. <laughs> What seems to be a problem here? This woman cannot eat our soup, so she says, Can you please help us? Ah, this is a matter for prayer. Oh. Send the president. from Washington, D.C. What is the problem? Why? Oh, why? Oh, why? Oh, why? Why can't you eat your soup? I don't have a spoon. Oh. Oh. Here you go. Thanks. Are you looking for a wicked cool experiment? You can find science activities, surveys, and cool gizmos at ZoomSci at the Zoom website, pbskids.org, or America Online, keyword PBS Kids. become the property of Zoom and will be eligible for inclusion in all Zoom media. This means that we can share your ideas with other Zoomers on TV, the web, in print materials, and in other Zoom ways. So, send it to Zoom. Mr. President, your soup is yours. Thank you. You're welcome. What is this? Is there a problem, Mr. President? There's something floating in my soup. Stand back, Mr. President. It looks like some kind of code, sir. Oh, don't worry, Mr. President. It's just the address for the Zoom website, pbskids.org, where you can find recipes for all the delicious food served here at Cafe Zoom. pbskids.org. Mmm. Funding for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people, and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thanks! A production of WGBH Fox.